Hello everybody, welcome back to Learning in Technology. So I had a comment by a subscriber to the channel that was asking about PDF documents and how we could work with them using Microsoft Teams and specifically using the whiteboard. So we had a little bit of a conversation back and forth and I said, you know what, I'll make a video for you. So this is that video. So if you're interested in learning how to work with a PDF document in Microsoft Whiteboard, then stay tuned. I'll show you how we can go through, annotate that PDF document, and then clear it off so that we can use it for our next class. It's a very handy feature. It's very easy to do, and I'll show you how. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new whiteboard and I'll bring a document onto this whiteboard. So what I did is I just went over to the UNESCO uh, document library and I grabbed a teacher policy development guide. So it's an interesting document and maybe this is something that I want to discuss with a class. Maybe I want to discuss certain areas of it. Maybe I want to discuss the entire thing. But what I want to do is as I'm recording and discussing it with the class, I want to make annotations on it. And this could be used for many things. For example, if you have PDF documents of, let's say, English language skills and you want to highlight certain parts of it or whatever it may be, any PDF is what it boils down to. So if I hit on the plus menu, this is my insert menu, and I'll choose the PDF. And what it's going to do is allow me to go and choose that PDF. And I just want to make sure I grab the, there's the French version of it. So let me go to my downloads and grab the English version of it. And so here's that teacher guide in English. And you can see I can go and I can choose the entire document um, or I can just choose certain pages. And it is a little bit challenging if you have a large PDF document to bring a lot of pages in. Um, but what I'll do is I'm just gonna grab this one individual page and I'll insert that selected page. And what I can do is I can go into my pen now and this is my inking options. And I can do all sorts of really interesting things. I can choose different colored pens. Now, what I may wish to do is I'll go back actually to my movement menu and I can move it, center the document. I can make the document a little bit bigger, center it down a little bit. Um, and I can sort of, you know, just get it ready to go here. And then I'll hit the inking button and I can again, scroll in. Sorry, I'm using my mouse to scroll in. Um, you can draw on the side here. I'm just using my mouse to draw or I can grab a stylus if I want to and What I can do is I can say okay I want to talk about for example teacher standards and I could you know draw some information there about teacher standards and I can say you know, we're gonna talk first about that and then we'll spend a lot of time you know maybe one hour on teacher accountability and for school governance we have a three-day workshop I'm just making this up as I go along obviously um, one of the things that I do recommend if you're working with the PDF documents is that you go into your setting menu here and you turn off your ink to shape and your ink to table and the reason I recommend you turn those off is that uh, if I draw a circle on here, you'll notice it's not the greatest circle, but if I go to erase it, I can erase it easily. If I have that ink to shape on, then if I draw a circle, it'll draw a very nice circle. The only problem is, well, that's not a great circle, so it'll draw a nice circle for me. But if I go to erase it, it'll erase the hand-drawn circle, but it won't erase the shape circle. What you have to do there then is you have to lasso it and you have to delete it. So it's a little bit of a hassle. So if I'm going in and I'm annotating a, a PDF document, I kind of like to turn off ink to shape. Okay, so there you have it. And now what I can do is when I'm done with this document is I can just, you know, go ahead and erase what I want. I don't even need to erase it. If I go in and I make changes to the document and I underline stuff and I highlight stuff and do all this good, you know, annotation as I'm recording and talking to the students. And then of course I can grab that and I can move it up a little bit, move it down a little bit. Notice that the ink that I did stays with the document. So if I go in, it stayed where the, where the document was and I can go in and, you know, again, make any annotations that I want in here. One of the things that you want to do is want to be able to go to the document, of course, and scroll in a little bit and scroll out a little bit. And what's really nice is that my ink stays with that document. So I, I, don't, I don't see a separation between the ink and the document. But if it's time to teach this class again, all I do is open up a new whiteboard, go into the plus, PDF. I'll grab the same PDF from downloads that I had before. And you'll notice I have a nice fresh sheet. And I'll actually go to the same document or the same page again. 
just to show you that it doesn't import the ink. My recording will have saved the ink. My document allowed me to interact with the students using the ink, but I have a nice fresh copy of that PDF document. Well, I hope that video proved useful and you can practice a little bit bringing PDFs into the whiteboard environment, making annotations on those PDFs and discuss that with your students. If you've shared the Microsoft whiteboard from the Teams environment and you're recording your session, then your annotations will be part of that recording. And the next time you teach a class, you bring in a fresh PDF and you can repeat the process of doing the annotations that are applicable to that class. Thanks again for watching. If you did like this video, I always appreciate a like. And if you find these tips useful, I always appreciate a subscribe. See you next time.